Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be talking about how to start a YouTube channel. I've got a lot of questions from you guys about how to get started, what you need to get started, what tools to use, camera and all that. So I'm going to go over that all today. So first off, I use the Sony RX105. I love it because it has a Wi-Fi connection so I can just send over um, pictures or videos. I still like to take the card and just put it into my computer and move the files over that way but it's still a good option also that it has a flip screen which is awesome I can see what I'm doing I think this camera was pretty much created for vloggers and YouTubing and things like that I think one day I would like to make another purchase and get like a bigger camera with a better zoom but as far as vlogging this camera is perfect because it's really lightweight and it does the job well another camera that's really similar is the Canon G7X which I was looking at as well but I like being able to do slow motion with this the Sony and there are a couple other differences but it's all about personal preference the second thing I have actually Adam was the one really helping me make all these decisions because he's a lot more tech savvy than I am but he got me a tripod the me photo globe trotter aluminum travel tripod that is a mouthful but it's awesome it's so sturdy and there are so many different ways to use it a lot of different tripod leg lengths it's travel friendly obviously it's the travel tripod it comes with this case which is really handy it breaks down to be very small I've used it outside I've used it in the wind and it's really compact which I love and eventually if I get a bigger camera it can handle the bigger camera as well it has a little connector thing that you put on the camera and then onto the stand that holds it in for lighting I don't have any specific lighting right now I'm sure one day I will make those purchases right now I'm just using natural lighting I would like to get maybe a ring light, a couple other soft box lights eventually because right now my time of recording is limited just based on the time of day. For editing, so for a very long time I was using iMovie which I loved and I was having a hard time letting go of iMovie just because I knew it so well and Adam actually had Premiere and so I tried editing with Premiere a couple times and it was really just frustrating for me personally. I was so used to iMovie and its functions that it was basically like relearning or learning a new language. So I ended up making the purchase. I think it was about $200 to get Final Cut Pro and I absolutely love it. It is definitely the next step from iMovie but very similar that I didn't feel like it was a whole new language to learn. There are many shortcuts. There's a lot of YouTube tutorials on how to use Final Cut Pro. If you have any issues, there's a lot of people out there who've already answered the question. So I feel like there's a lot of good information online, especially as a beginner. Another question I get asked is basically what should you do for a background and as you can tell right now this is my bed. I am in a 400 square foot studio apartment so there's not a lot of space for me to record but basically the advice I would give is to make your background either airy, light, add some lights to it, light a candle, anything that's really going to set the mood. Also go with whatever fits your type of videos and what you're talking about. As far as music goes, so SoundCloud is a really helpful tool. You can go to soundcloud.com and you can look up in the search bar, you can look up, you know, say Christmas, you can click on tracks where you see the C, click on that, then click for commercial use if that's what you're planning on doing and using it for YouTube. Click on that and then just double check whenever you find songs if it really is, if they're allowing you to use it commercially, you just always want to double check SoundCloud because it is individuals uploading their music online. The other thing you can do on SoundCloud is back in that search bar, you can just type in commercial use music and then come up with all kinds of things. Click on playlists. There's people who have already created playlists that can make it really helpful to just see several back to back. The second thing I would recommend is music YouTube channels. The one that I recommend is the no copyright sounds. They have a lot of different songs and sounds and you can go through all of them and in each one they have a place to download or stream and then from there you scroll on down a little bit more and you see what you need to post in your YouTube video in order to give them proper credit. Lastly, YouTube also has its own own music library. The only thing with using YouTube's library is it's going to be more commonly used, which might be okay if you are a beginner YouTuber, because familiarity is not a bad thing. Lastly, my biggest piece of advice 
is to watch a lot of YouTube. Hopefully if you are starting a YouTube channel or you're wanting to do YouTube, it's are you are obsessed with YouTube. It's always helpful to watch how others do it, how people with more experience and more followers, more engagement, how they are doing their videos. Watch others for inspiration. Something else I would say is to just upload content. Now that's not to say just like fling things out there because you want to put up good content. However, remember, especially when you're getting started, consistency is what is key and you can always take down a video. Lastly, have fun with it. Hopefully, like I said, you're doing YouTube because you love YouTube and you want to create. Don't make it too serious, have fun with it, and don't worry about the views or how many subscribers you have. Numbers are just numbers and if you are consistent with it and you're having fun with it, the viewers and the subscribers will come. Well, that's it for today, you guys. Thanks so much for sending in all of your questions. I appreciate all of you so much. If you haven't already, you should subscribe. Also follow me on Instagram, lauren.budnick. I'm always on there, but I would love to talk to you on this platform as well, so comment down below if you have any more questions for me. Much love, you guys. Until next time, bye.